Hey guys, Shanna Kramer here with another 10 minute painting. Uh, today's painting I'm actually going to do in watercolor, which is something I haven't done for a while. And I just chose a random palette and uh, I really like this photo and I'm hoping to capture the essence of the peace and quiet and just the relaxation of being out in the green with the grass and the trees. So I'll switch over here and right now I have my, this is an old Moleskine notebook um, that I bought years ago. This is a watercolor Moleskine. So I used it originally to take notes, you know, do some quick sketches. Um, kind of a waste of a <laughs> watercolor notebook if you ask me. There are only a few pages with actual watercolor. So I just found this like tonight. I haven't seen it in years um, and I'm just happy to put it back to some good use again. So this is what I'll be doing my watercolor on for today. All right, I just have my quick sketch. The original is right up here. This is the only original. So I have to look up at the screen to be able to see this, which is little teeny tiny. <laughs> and so I think that'll help me to not get bogged down by details. So for starters, I'm going to add the horizon line. That is crooked as heck. Let's try it again. Well. That's a little less crooked. We're going to call this a hilly landscape. So then my road is connecting right about so, and then it kind of goes off over here and here. Kind of hate when things go off in a corner like that, but just following along, which is also the dumbest excuse ever to do something. So the right side of the road goes almost straight down and the inside kind of like that. Okay, so we've got some people off over here. Do I have to draw those in now? Hmm, person here, person here. I think there's another person here, but I can't tell. We'll go with three people, three people in this. Okay, so my fence line will be right along the same perspective. And uh, the perspective works with the height as well. So, um, so we'll have a little fence post back there a bigger fence post and then a big fence post. I think that's going to be perfect. Well, this one's a little too close and it's pointing too close to the edge, so. Oh boy, you can't erase off of watercolor paper either. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so, so I've got some big trees kind of, they come up to about here. I don't want to sketch all these in. I kind of know what trees look like. So this kind of comes down couple of more fluffy, fluffy trees, branches, whatever. Okay, onward, let's paint. All right, so now this palette, ooh, oh my gosh, guess what guys? Oh, I'm so excited. All right, tell you why. <laughs> I just got some brand new paint brushes. These babies, mm -mm. So these are, can I zoom in a little? Becker art brushes. So there's an, a watercolor artist that I'm taking his workshop in a couple of months here. And these are his brushes. So I thought, well, I'll just order them early and see what they can do. Um, these are pretty big brushes for my little page here. So I'll just probably work with some of the smaller ones. Maybe, or a big one. You know what, I'm gonna do whatever I want. So I'm just gonna open these all up and get them ready. All right, so I have my brushes set here. My palette set here some water here. I think we're ready. Okay. So I kind of want to, I have to get that blue background in first. Just very little, very, very tiny little. That's too blue. Let's try some <laughs> Quin something. I don't know what color, Quin, Quinacridone Rust, I think this color is. So this palette is going to be a bit of a wonky one. I don't know how you guys do your watercolor palettes, but for me, every time I take a workshop, <laughs> I, I buy a new palette like this because these things are very handy. And these things are like eight or nine dollars or something on Amazon. So I'll post a link. Um, but yeah, they're super cheap, super handy. I just love them. And so in my mind, it's cheaper to get a new palette than it is to um, scrape out all that very valuable watercolor paint. Because you know we're not using cheap paint on any of this, right? OK, 
Okay, so now we need to get into this road a little. So we'll do a little brown. <laughs> kind of brown. Kind of yellow. Kind of more yellow. Yeah, it looks so. Okay. So that will be my road color. I guess I'll just put in some color and then I'll dot it up with some other color. I want that texture in there. Ooh, that rust is way too warm. <laughs> Let's see. I don't want that to be too overpowering, but I do want it to show. So, okay, I'll stop there. <laughs> Just as soon as I said I don't want it to be too overpowering. Plus this, so this paper that I'm working with, it, it's the Moleskine watercolor paper. However, it doesn't behave like a regular watercolor paper. <laughs> and let's get onto those greens. All right, so I'm first going to do some nice light greens. And this is mostly, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is sap green and perhaps yellow ochre, yellow oxide. Nope, I want it more yellow, more brighter, more happier. So the color I'm trying to match is this one. Green's always a tough one, especially if you're starting with a green. It seems like it's easier if you start with a yellow and a blue, as weird as that is. Don't start with green, just don't use green. <laughs> Really, most of the time, the only green that I use is um, turquoise. I like turquoise. So I know you can't really see it, but I'm off over here mixing another green because I didn't like that one. So I believe this is undersea, undersea green and some sort of a cadmium yellow. And that is much happier, but it still needs blue. Oh, that's so much better. So much happier. So this is very yellow, very blue. Um, really, it's hard to see green in this at all with as much yellow and blue as there is. It's so like yellow up top. Yellower. <laughs> Yellower. Like so. Like so. There we are. Let's just go all the way across that road. That's nice. Now we'll get into some of the greens. Take some of that undersea green. Add a little more blue to that. Whoo, now we're talking. Got some cobalt in that. You let's do more color, no more variation. More cobalt. More yellow. More yellow. There we are, very nice. <sighs> Needs way more blue though, and actually probably a little red. Ooh, red. Actually, I like that. Nobody ever said it had to look like the original. The rule is it has to be done in 10 minutes. And we're at 8.46 right now. And you have to be happy with it. Actually, the rule is you have to be happy with it. Then you should try to get done in 10 minutes. <laughs> no pressure. All right, so now we're gonna get back in here into some of these. I think I'm going to have to add texture to this. More blue down at the bottom. Any shade of blue I can find over there is gonna be fantastic. Okay, so now I'm just taking my brush and flicking a little color on. Hmm. It needed that texture, it really did. A little bit of yellow, more better. More, more better. Nice. Okay, now pretty soon we're gonna move on to those trees. Maybe this will be dry in time to add the people. So far, I, can you see? This is the only brush I've used so far out of this. 
and I don't think I'm going to need to use any other. I can probably draw the people with this even. Now we don't need this really, really dark green, so I'm going to go with mm, whatever greens these are. And those are nice and dark. Actually, that's not so bad. Touch of red because I need it. <laughs> oh, blue. More blue. Touch of blue. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm not going for perfection here. I'm going for trees. All right. So a little bit of water in there. I'm just going to add whatever the heck color I want, and I'll update it later. Okay, so that's my, that's my trees. Don't worry, I'll get some color in there. I'm just going to want to soak up some of that water out of that middle of the book there. Don't want it to unglue my binding. If that happens, I guess I don't even know. All right, so now I want some dark colors, so I'm going to take none of, I can't remember whose palette this is, why I ended up with these colors. Like I said, I normally fill my palette with whatever the most, you know, when I take a new workshop, whatever that artist recommends, because I know they're going to be colors that go together because someone else says so. <laughs> um, but I can't remember exactly whose palette this is. Usually I write a name on the top of what the artist's name is, just so I can kind of you know, for a refresher, um, but I didn't this time. I don't feel like this is my own palette, but you never know. Might be one that I filled for plein air. Uh, during the summer, I have a group of friends that we go out and we paint plein air. So we just go outside to different areas around town um, and paint just because it's fun, just because we can. Uh, it's, so I'm in Minnesota right now, we're up north, it's cold. <laughs> so the plein air painting is on hiatus in the winter because nobody wants to paint when it's below 10 degrees. That's just all there is to it. Um, paint freezes, water freezes, people freeze. There's no happy ending. So uh, during the summer though, we go out quite a lot, like at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. And some people paint with oil, some people paint with watercolors, some people just bring pencils and they do some sketching and let me tell you that is the best part of my day I love 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 painting outside well I'm kind of liking the colors of these trees but it's getting a little out of control gonna have to bring some green back in Okay, let's not go overboard. Okay, I'll stop there. Um, you know what I totally missed? I totally missed that sheep that's out here. Maybe I can turn this water spot into a sheep, you think? I bet I can. <laughs> I totally bet I can. Okay, let's take a brief pause while I blow dry this.
close enough for rock and roll. Not completely dry, but that's okay. We're, we're gonna work with it. And now that I'm seeing this more dry, I'm kind of digging these colors. I'm glad I put all that red in there. That was pumping the place right up. Digging that red. And I totally love this paintbrush too. Moving on. So now I have some couple of people over here and then I have, I'm gonna turn this water spot into a sheet. Oh, uh oh, let's get back to our, there we go. So, <laughs> and there's that little sheep right there that I didn't get added in earlier. We still have some posts to add in. Um, and I can probably do some more shaping around this road. I just sort of threw the basic colors down. I don't want to make these trees back here any darker. I'm happy with the way they look. Well, why don't we throw some people in there, throw some fence posts in there, see how we feel about that sheep. So we're after a darker color now. I'm gonna go with some darker blues. And this palette is missing my favorite blue. I'm gonna see if I can find it. <laughs> Actually, what do you know? I have another palette handy. Isn't that great? So my favorite blue right now is Antwerp blue. Beautiful, beautiful dark color. Whoa, look at that, now it turned purple. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. And Antwerp can be lifted. So if you like to lift out colors off of your painting, Antwerp will do it for you. So let's see, I've got a little person right about so. My pencil sketches are entirely gone by now, by the way. That is a fatty, fat, fat brush. Okay, I guess that's okay. We'll do a little more red on the next one, I think. There's another person off over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to make carrot people because nothing else is working. <laughs> and if you don't know what carrot people are, um, you do a dot and then a carrot and then it's a person and then you don't do anything else. I know that they don't really have shadows, but I feel like they need them, so. I'm keeping it. Now we're past that, let's move on to some fence posts. And these are kind of, I mean, they're just brown. They're just hanging out there. Um, so I just have this kind of m muted mess of a color over here. It's got some orange, got some blue, basically. It's got fence color. So I'll make a couple of little small fences another one and a kind of a big one and does that need to be darker maybe maybe it does you know I have little brushes that are made for this and I'm still using this big fat brush I think I have my new favorite brush now though okay so we are going to need a little bit more definition and sheep let's do the sheep <laughs> And now remember, I'm just looking at a little teeny tiny thumbnail that's up over there. Um, and I did that on purpose so I don't get hung up on details because I do that sometimes. I'm looking at such a small picture that I can't possibly get hung up on details because I can't see them. Does that look like a sheep? All signs point to yes. <gasps> Guess what, guys? I have a, a magic eight ball on the way. Ordered one, can't wait. I have no idea how I've been making decisions without it for my entire life, but I have a magic eight ball on the way. Don't want to over green it. Maybe I'll add some blue. Yeah, blue's better. What's your favorite color? <laughs> I'll add some blue under this little sheepy guy. Is he a sheep or is he a sheepy guy? I don't know. Okay, so what else can I do with that little sheepy guy? Well, I could make the area around him darker. Does that help a little? It's like a dog. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look like a sheep, it looks like a dog. Okay, let's fix that. Okay, 
All right, I think it's sheepy enough now. So what can we do with this down here? I think it needs to be horizontal is the issue. It needs to be more woohoo horizontal. It's a horizontal road. Does that make sense? No? Well, it is. Uh, so somewhere there. And I don't really want to touch up this edge too much. But it does need to be a little more yellow. Bright yellow. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of bright yellow in there. Can I drag those shadows further? Kind of like they're walking into the sun. I think their shadows can be better. There. Yeah. Yeah, like they're walking into the sun. Well, if they're walking into the sun, this needs to be bluer. I mean, I like the field, but I also like bluer. See how much better of a green you can get when you're just using yellow and blue? I'm going to probably start over in a brand new palette and not include any greens, because why do I have three greens in a row there? I don't even use them. And that's the end of that story. <laughs> um, you know, okay, one very, very last thing. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to do one last thing, and then I'm walking away. I kind of want some red splatters. They can be flowers or something. <laughs> I just, I really like that touch of red in this painting, and I just want more. Oh, there's a UFO, a red UFO. <laughs> okay, some are circles, some are like blood spots, so I'll try to get rid of the bad ones here. <laughs> it's all about the happy, not the blood, all right? There. Stop. Rinse the brush. Put it away. All right. Well, this has been fun, guys. I really do like this uh, this image, and not terribly unhappy with the painting. And I'm glad I put it in a notebook, so it's just a sketch. <laughs> but I hope that you maybe learned something, or at least enjoyed what you saw. And if you would like to paint along live more often, I do have lives every Tuesday night. If you subscribe for Creative Box Live, Creative Just Live, either one, um, Creative Just Live is you get the subscription to creativelyuncorked.com. Okay, so you'll find both the subscriptions on Creatively Uncorked. Creative Box Live, that's going to get you a arts box subscription sent to your home every month. And you'll have all the supplies you need for the four paintings. If you do the creative just live is this the right one <laughs> this one okay if you do the creative just live then you get the membership which is all online you can paint along live online every tuesday uh, you can paint along with any of our past paintings and there are hundreds hundreds for a low low price so you have access to all of that with for a monthly subscription so i do hope that you join me i do hope that i see you again and thanks for watching love you bye bye